everybody, welcome to Cinebinge. My name is Simone, this is George, and this is where I watch movies and television. Today we are doing some Mel Gibson. Yes. And Sam Elliott, actually. Oh, um, I didn't know that. I actually yeah, know nothing a, about this film. Me neither. In a movie called We Were Soldiers. It looks very patriotic, the poster. What is, okay, describe <laughs> it to me. Okay, so it's divided into uh, three sections. The very bottom, which is the biggest section, is just Mel Gibson's face wearing a, a like a like a soldier helmet. Right above that is a strip that's like in red, and it looks like I'm guessing like family members of the soldiers, but it's mm. like red, so I guess they're dead. I don't know. Oh. Um, and then above that, it kind of looks like Banner Brothers, you know, the silhouette of the the soldiers walking towards or running towards camera. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then it says fathers, brothers, husbands, and sons. I mean, in the titles, we were soldiers. I'm guessing yeah. this is like those who died. What I'm curious about is which war is this based on? Mm -hmm. The I Drang Valley of Vietnam. Oh, okay. A place our country does not remember and a war does not understand. Vietnam War. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh no. My God. Holy shit! Okay, I just went right into it. Holy shit! Jeepers! Right. Just like Black Hawk Down, the tone is set like immediately. Immediately. There's no. There's no, like, I wonder what, like, what this film is going to be like. <laughs> like, no, this is it. This is... I'm curious who was narrating at the beginning. It definitely wasn't Sam Elliott. It definitely wasn't Mel Gibson. I know a young, like, colonel named Hal Moore. He led a combat company in Korea. After that, he volunteered to test experimental parachutes. He also looks like Mel Gibson, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, how about we go back to bingo? What do you say? Bingo! <laughs> you can't still car down. We're turning this car back out and back to Winnipeg we go. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to be like, hey, how about you guys shut up? <laughs> Has a master's in international relations from Harvard. Harvard? It's not one of those academic pussies, is it? How more? <laughs> There was a time when being smart men being weak. Wow. Oh, based on a book. Okay. Did you see that, smart man? Oh, shit. You're out of the horse shit. No wonder you can't fly. You can't see. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Wow. You're a pilot? <laughs> Too tall, sir. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a drink. He sure. totally just stepped off an apple box, the guy. You can tell when he left the Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. They want to fly with you for some reason. I guess it's because they think you're the best. I'm supposed to have a choice in all this. You sure don't. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Air calf. Okay. Good morning, Sergeant Major. How do you know what kind of goddamn day it is? <laughs> Wait, is that Sam Elliott? I think so. Just without the mustache, it's I, very... I honestly, like, it's hard to recognize him without the mustache. Yeah. But the hey, voice, yeah. Him. This will be our horse. You don't have to catch it. You don't have to feed it. Now, I hope you gentlemen like training. Because me and the Sergeant Major, we love it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Are you starting to smile a little bit there? <laughs> yeah. A seditious... Was he counting people leaving the helicopter or seconds? I don't know. Seconds, I feel like. Like he only yeah, drops carries. for like a certain amount of time. Yeah. He hesitated, he's dead. What do you do? Oh Get shit. Off Get off of the shower. Uh. Okay. Alright, hold off the third. Bit different than Black Hawk Down with like leave no man behind. <laughs> no? No. Come on, I'll stay with you. That is a lot of kids. <laughs> Cecile, I, I don't hear your brain, honey. Oh. Hail Mary, full of grace. Lord is with thee. 
Blessed, Blessed art thou women. among women. Oh. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Such tiny feet. <laughs> He's got to notice that. Good morning, Sergeant Major. Are you a fucking weatherman now? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe my favorite so far. Yeah, it's a great oh introduction. <laughs> I could watch 50 of those. <laughs> oh shit, are they listening to like... That's our advisors in Vietnam. The radio's picking up atmospheric bounds. Oh, he's from Buffy. Oh, I oh thought my he was God. just like playing recordings to add to the feeling. But no, that's like that's, what's yeah, actually that's happening. real. Yeah, yeah. They fought as a family. Take care of your men. Teach them to take care of each other. Any of some bitches calls me grandpa. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Oh, what a difference one mass mustache makes. It's, it's all the happiness was in his mustache. <laughs> exactly. When he lost his mustache, <laughs> he lost all joy. Everybody, take your boots off. Everybody, socks too. It's gonna smell terrible, but he's also not good. Oh, it's just... Ooh. Oh! I want you to draw fresh socks from supply. Keep your feet dusted with powder. That's really bad. Was that just a blister? It's like worn down to the... Ugh. The laundromat in town's okay, but they won't let you wash the colored things in their machines. In a public laundromat? Didn't make any sense to me either, but I'm telling you, they have a big sign right in the window says whites only. Jesus. Oh, lady. Holy shit. Your husband is wearing the uniform of a country that allows a place to say that his laundry's not good enough when he could die for... <laughs> My husband will never ask for respect. And anybody who doesn't respect that can keep his goddamn washing machine because my baby's clothes are going to be clean anyway. <laughs> all right. Are you all right? I think my water just broke. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We're all calm. Let's just all calm. Calm, yeah. <laughs> Start <Started> screaming. <laughs> Collectively, how many kids do they have? Like. <laughs> Were they still doing that in 1965 in the U.S.? Jesus. At his age, I heard one of my new lieutenants just became a father. Also, congratulations. Thank you, sir. In Canada. Hmm. Well, is Tagger already? What's that say? Oh, Camille. Yeah, I'm sorry about no, this, No, don't sir. you take that off. You leave that on where it is. That's an order. <laughs> about our enemies? Ignore their heathen prayers and help us blow those little bastards straight to hell. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think he was going to say that. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah? What is a war? Oh my god, she is so cute. <laughs> <gasps> Are they going to try to take your life away, Daddy? See, you're going to try, but I'm not going to let him. Uh, yeah, okay. Just don't go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if we all like unanimously agree to let the politicians who started the war to fight each other? Just a couple of <laughs> old men in a field slapping each other. <laughs> and right before the army sends us into the fight, they take away a third of my men. You saw this coming, didn't you? Yes. That's why I gave me that new crop of platoon leaders. <laughs> He's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, a lot better than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's great, Kinnear. You better be careful. <laughs> Since we're being deployed, they're renumbering the units. You're now the commanding officer of the 1st Battalion of the 7th Cavalry. Okay. Same regiment as Custer. Who's Custer? Oh my god. So they're really, really, like, hamming up the family part before a bunch of these people are going to die, isn't it? Mm-hmm. To make you really feel it. Yeah, because it's like, it's, yeah, that's yeah. how it was, I guess. It's interesting, though, because, like, you know, Black Hawk Down, which we watched yesterday, mm -hmm. 
didn't do this, but we still cared about oh, yeah. the characters as they died. Yeah. Oh, God. Wills. Oh. See, in, in Black Hawk Down, or... <clears throat> They probably did all this stuff before. Yeah, we just didn't see it. Yeah. Dead or alive, we will all come home together. Ooh, okay. He's really good at that grimace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's sleeping with the tags? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, maybe they do that when they're on the field, but at mm -hmm. home. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that image of the parents with the baby in the middle and then the guy have to get up to go to war can be dressed in any era of human mm. history, of any <laughs> nationality. Oh my god, he just... Yeah. Wake up and they're gone. That's crazy. Why do they leave in the middle of the night? Well, it's probably not. It's probably like 4 a.m. or through, like whatever. Oh, right. Like, yeah, everybody gather or whatever at 7, so you got to leave at yeah. 4. Yeah, okay. Or he left early because he walked there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, they really stuck on that <laughs> shot, huh? I wonder if um, the movie invested so much time, like energy into these send-offs and family mm. moments because around the time of release, a lot of people in the US were actually going to war. So it's like a, do you know what I mean? Like oh. to match the time, the mood out? of the time. 2002. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, to put a little extra effort in painting the um, yeah. heroism part, right? To as a feel good. Mm-hmm. Think maybe you ought to get yourself that M16. Time comes I need one, sir. There'll be plenty of mine on the ground. Jesus, that's dark. Yeah. Before that day, the soldiers of North Vietnam and those of America never met each other in a major battle. Helicopters are weird. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Wee! <laughs> right? Like <laughs> <laughs> Giant metal bugs. Oh, I want to go back to Vietnam. I would like to go to Vietnam. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. Yeah, my friend has been there a couple times and just loves it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder if they are actually Vietnamese actors. Mm. I don't know. I don't speak Vietnamese, but it sounds pretty good. It's a scout! Oh. Let's take a prisoner! Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. And they are already immediately. There he goes! Come on! It's clearly bait. Is that that's the eager guy, right? That's like the guy that's trying yeah, to win yeah, a medal. Yeah. He said this is base camp of whole division. Four thousand men. Where? I don't. Holy shit! Right below them. Did he say they want to kill American very badly? Should not been able to find any yet. Meanwhile, yeah, these, uh, these guys are just <sighs> idiot. <sighs> Yeah, you can't even see where they're coming from. Yeah. This is Trojan 2. Oh my god. Okay, so he's figured it out. Holy shit. Yeah, it really was like three seconds. Get out, get in. Yeah. We are cut off. Copy, we are cut off. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. You know what I would like to see, actually? Hmm. A film... A Vietnamese film about the exact same battles, but from their point of view. Oh yeah, that'd be interesting. That creek bed is vital. Oh, okay. Yeah, because all the like, yeah throughout the whole thing, like leading up to this, he was doing research on previous that one guy. Yeah. battles it's, and stuff. It's just like it's basically two guys playing chess. <laughs> yeah. Reading each other's moves. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
but they got bigger weapons. Holy shit! Jesus. I wonder how the filmmaking logistics work for pyrotechnics like that. Like, oh man. We're just gonna burn down a chunk of the forest? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah. Early, they oh. clear out. Oh! Oh god, some guy was hanging out the thing! He's under strength against more men than he can count. He's got a whole platoon lost. They're not lost, they're only cut off and surrounded. <laughs> Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to the movie. Saigon wants to debrief you! Jesus. Save the Colonel. Mm. Is he gonna go? I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he would no. go. He'll stay. He'll be the last man to leave the field, right? That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you back there, Ray. Oh, Coulson. Shit. God. Oh, oh he's God. still dangling at the edge. Oh man. What the? F oh. What the? F That was gruesome. Our guys are gonna come for us, aren't they? <gasps> yeah. When? Plug his wound. <sighs> I'm so glad we didn't watch Black Hawk Down like this in like back to back. <laughs> it would have been <laughs> way too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh hey! That guy. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember his character's name is even probably Ryan, but you know. The sniper. Yeah. Jackson. Oh, oh wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <gasps> oh wow. Yeah. Is that actually what like bullets look like? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you next time I go shooting in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm a reporter, sir. Oh, okay. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, let's add some more red. <laughs> what the light? Oh God, yeah. Oh my God. You let my men into a hot LZ. Now you know the rules. You suckered us in there. You ever do it again, I'm gonna have you busted. If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. Tomorrow will be worse. If I make it to tomorrow. <sighs> That was something. Oh, God! <laughs> he was right! Holy shit, that was a crazy shot! That was pretty cool. Just... Yeah. We'll come get you in the morning. Yes, sir. Okay. Stay awake and sit in the dark, just the two of you. Holy shit! Oh! It's a symbolism. I don't Vacuuming the bad guys. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they really do just like suddenly show up like that, eh? And it's mm -hmm. so close. Mm-hmm. No. Uh oh. No, he's fine. He, we wouldn't have- Yeah, we know he's fine, but mistake, I guess? Need help finding an address. Right. Okay. Um, Jesus. Do you yeah, know no it? shit. Do you know what you just did to me? He probably doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't like this job, ma'am. I'm just trying to do it. No, he knows. There, mm, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Spends all day giving bad news to people. What we can yell at and spit at. Right. But how is it a like a taxi service like how how is it their responsibility? Assuming the government contract or something. 
you know? Jesus. No. Mm -mm. Ah! Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. How many is that? She holy shit. <sighs> um Like they were the only two wives that didn't get a letter, basically, like from that Yeah, the whole neighborhood. The, yeah. Two of my great granddaddies were soldiers. So each of them lost a leg in the Civil War. They met in a shoe store in Galveston. They get together and pick out a brand new pair of shoes for the two of them. <laughs> That's that's Amazing! <laughs> one pair of shoes between the two of them. <laughs> oh, I wish there were more, like, parallels showing of the Vietnamese side. Like that little bit of that guy. Yeah, with his yeah. photo of his wife, presumably, right? Yeah, exactly. Each soldier is a hero on their own side, so... Oh my god. Like they could easily just step on you and find you're there. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Ah! Holy shit. So I don't know much about, you know, fighting or war or things, but like shooting someone has to be different than like being on top mm -hmm. of somebody and stabbing somebody, you know? Yeah. Or maybe it's the same. Maybe it's just like... I don't know. I can't imagine it being the same. Like... Like the end result is you're taking a life, so like... But you're up close, right? You're yeah, seeing a face. Yeah. You're using your physical strength versus yeah. pulling a trigger. Where the other person just could be a dot in the distance. Fire three rounds and anything looks suspicious to him. On my signal. Ah, draw them out. <sighs> Whoa, my God. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. oh. No. Okay, but that's just survivable, right? Oh, no, never mind. <gasps> oh, that's that guy with the. Mm hmm. Oh, is he going right for it? Oh my god. Oh and my no god. No one's facing him. How bad is it, Hal? Holy shit. Get out of the way. Can't take no pictures lying down there, Sonny. Yeah, right there. What are you the Weatherman. <laughs> yeah, still my favorite part of this movie. And we can't cool them all because we're all out of water. Pissing it. Yeah, there it is. Come on, what are you waiting for? Oh. Ew. Oh, it's gonna smell so bad. Prepare to defend yourselves. Oh, this is where Sam Elliott goes down. No. He just stands. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. I'm doing a really great job at like making you feel like things are out of control and because. Mm hmm. Yeah, because whenever they reveal the person getting shot, it's like right there. Yeah, yeah. They're always so close. Yeah, man, that's those nights, like um, that shot in the like night when they didn't think anyone was around and then mm -hmm. that one little bit of light behind them just. Oh, that was insane. Confirm, broken I don't know what that means. Some sort of... That means that an American has been overrun, causing every combat aircraft for support. Okay. There's no hiding it now. <gasps> no hiding it now, which means... Yeah, like they knew but, from the start that this they were gonna be screwed, right? Audience, please explain. What does that <gasps> mean? No hiding yeah. it now, broken arrow. Holy shit, we planes are weird. <laughs> we'll get him, sir. They can fly, it's weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. 
it's weird to say, but that fire is like beautiful. Like the mm-hmm. yeah, how it swirls like that. That's insane. What the? F- oh, oh, too close. Too close. Oh, oh God. Maybe broken arrow means like just you know drop those bombs even if it's gonna hit us like it's dangerously close no 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 i think what the i think the reason he was upset is because he read the wrong coordinates and dropped it too close to them and that's why he felt like it stayed on him broken arrow means oh uh no i think it's just a code a code for to bring in help like we need help like oh my god Oh! oh, that was disgusting. Definitely need to blur that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ungloving of his calf. Oh, Jesus. I feel like we need to blur all of this. Yeah, we can't show any of this. Uh. Are those like the real photos? The actual person... I don't that know. That he's based on. I feel like it, right? The way that they're showing this? Maybe, yeah. Holy shit. No. Or at least mixed in. Mixed yeah, in, maybe. Yeah, maybe mixed in, because there's. Holy shit. That's a nice day, Sergeant Savage. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wonder, during the Vietnam War, after a while. Does it? Do they like stop using Charlie Company and giving all guys named Charlie a nickname just so there's no confusion between when they're referencing the enemy? Because <laughs> like earlier he called the guy in Charlie, but I guess it would have been before maybe before that I moniker took hold. Hmm, maybe. Captain, you ought to have men dig some fire and steps in these holes. Throw some dirt on his bodies. Keep the smell now. Like yourself. <sighs> yeah, hot, humid country. Oh. Brought another. Oh God, Julie, Julie, it's yours. No. <laughs> Sir, they're ordering us all out. All of us. He's waiting up there in a cave, and that's what he wants. The third day, Jesus. Oh. Is it gonna be a last stand? They're all gonna die. Feels like it. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Ugh. Not a fan of stabbing. Not. I don't <laughs> like it. So they... Oh. So crazy. Greg Kinnear, like, saved all of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Uh, uh. Jesus. What? <gasps> what the hell happened here, Joe? <laughs> oh my god, you f- idiots. Wow. Oh god, I can't imagine he want to deal with this right now. I'll never forgive myself. For what, sir? That my man died and I didn't. Is he home? She's gonna think it's a telegram. Yeah, but then he's home. It's gotta be him. He's cut. Yeah. Isn't there someone at the door? Go to bed. I mean, it better be him. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have no words to express to you my sadness. I know you too are sure of this. Oh my god. Hmm. In the silence of the night, we will always hear the screams. Oh my god. Yeah, he just got dropped right in the middle of it too. Wasn't even mm-hmm. like... <sighs> oh. Oh, okay. It's an American film from the American's perspective. 
so it's mm-hmm. it's you know focused on them but i am glad the movie gave time at least a little bit they did to they totally the did it was amazing soldiers yeah because yeah. at the end of the day it's just you know everybody's fighting for their own idealism <laughs> exactly they did such an amazing job of showing that like mm-hmm. we're all they're just like people who have loved ones and who are just trying to survive mm-hmm. as well right like it's just it was yeah oh, everybody's God. fighting for what they believe is right yeah yeah um, oh like my only gripe about the, the one moment that they were showing um the vietnamese soldier the guy with the glasses who yeah. charged charged at more with the yeah. bayonet i thought like because like the way it was presented it was gonna be his kind of like last stand right his heroic moment that that unknown um enemy soldier but it ended like that moment ended as just another look how badass more is oh. do you know what i mean because like it was like him slow-mo charging 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 and then yeah. it cut to more just like suddenly knew someone was behind him he turns mm-hmm. around one hand holds a rifle and shoots the guy right in the head mm-hmm. and it was like it, it felt like it took away what was what felt like was supposed to be showing the other side for a moment and mm. turned it back into look how badass he is interesting yeah and the whole film is mostly about that already yeah you know so i was like okay well but otherwise like yeah as a the film as a whole was i thought that moment was i thought that moment was so interesting because we we see the man with the glasses like look at a picture of his wife and immediately you're connected to him Mm -hmm. and like and care about him Mm -hmm. and then for me, like that moment switch, like it sh- there's a shift because like I was, it was so interesting. I was rooting for him when he was running, but until I saw who the target was mm-hmm. and then immediately I'm like, no, like it was like, it was, it was crazy. It's just, it, I think that's such an interesting way of like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that's stuff. the thing you're, you're rooting for more because it's a movie about him. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the movie starts with him and you're connected with him, right? But yeah. um if the movie was made about that soldier with the glasses, the Vietnamese soldier with the glasses, mm-hmm. and the movie started with him and his wife, right? Oh yeah, totally different. Then, story. then it would be a, that shot would be him charging at this terrifying enemy, this terrifying general, that his last moment to to beat mm-hmm. the enemy. Well, that wraps up this episode of Cinebinge. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Please like, share, and make sure to subscribe. Yeah, I'd like to... Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> We'd like to thank our patrons for helping us keep doing this. And shout out to a Andy, Carlos in Charge, AZ10, Always Step, NAM, uh, Brendan Man, Crazy's Relative, Crow, uh, Dave Atcha, Draco Argentum, Drew Atchison, Eric Gray, Fatman, Fred the Squig, Gleeful Turtle, Dom Jackson, RJ, and Jacob Archer 78 Thank you all Woo. very much. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.